Does this ball not remind you of Wheatley from Portal 2? What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of a match ball that you've probably seen before but don't know too much about. And of course I'm talking about the Ul Sport Elijah or Alicia. I googled it and apparently there's six different ways of saying this name. What's the correct way to say it? I'm sure the internet will let me know. Either way, this is the official match ball of Ligue 1 for the 2018-2019 season, made by a company that you may or may not have even heard of before, depending on what position that you play. If you're a goalkeeper, you're probably familiar with the German brand Ulsport, as they tend to specialize in goalkeeper gloves and have an extremely good reputation in that area of equipment. They've done all kinds of different things over the years but this match ball is kind of their latest and greatest innovation if you want to call it that and trust me when I say that it is as impressive as any match ball currently available so what I want to talk about in today's video is just break down all the tech specs and see how it compares to other big match balls from Nike and Adidas that are obviously a lot more popular so if you are on the market for a match ball we're essentially going to determine whether or not this is one that you should be considering on your list of options if you are interested in one of these match balls for yourself i'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below that'll take you to the review page on my website where you will find buy it now links for this particular match ball that as of right now is available exclusively in europe for about 142 us dollars making this actually 20 to 25 dollars less expensive than all of the nike and adidas match balls currently available that retail for about 160 to 165 dollars if you guys do end up enjoying the video don't forget to support it with a like and if you're new here watching for the first time don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear while it has almost nothing to do with the ball itself should you order one of these it comes in one of the coolest match ball boxes that i think i've ever seen it's a perfect cube which i just think looks very cool it's almost a display piece in itself and you can see it's a translucent plastic with pink graphics and then the blue detailing that matches what you'll find on the ball itself the yule sport branding all over the place and again it's just one of those cool little extras that I think we should be getting when these brands are expecting you to pay these super high dollar prices for a single ball which is why this is getting a match ball box score of 7.9 out of 11.2 so let's start with the one thing that everyone always comments on whenever a new match ball comes out and that is the way that it looks and I don't know about you guys but for me personally I really feel like this is one of the best looking match balls currently out there. I love the design, I love the graphics, I even like the color combo and I'm not a huge fan of pink on most match balls, but this one in particular I just think looks really really good. So obviously you're going to find a white base here and that's accented by three main colors. A bright pink that does get darker in certain areas, a dark navy blue, and then neon yellow for the Elijah uh, official match ball branding, the Ulsport branding, and of course the League Earn logo as well. There's also also some little silver details you can see throughout the the blue areas and there's a little bit of a grid pattern there's lots of different little things happening here you can even see the little detail here in the white I think it all looks very cool and it has a very premium vibe to it Ulsport not one of those brands that I think too many people associate with match balls but honestly from a looks perspective I think they did an excellent job the graphics on the ball also really remind me of the Nike T90 Ascente match ball that we had several years ago not an exact copy of course but definitely pretty similar both of which I think look very cool which brings us to the construction of the Ul Sport Elijah match ball that I have to say is probably the most impressive aspect of this product which is a very very good thing now when you think modern match balls you kind of think of futuristic panel shapes which this ball does have which is why you might be surprised to learn that this actually is made up of 32 panels something that we typically only see with traditional football constructions where the panel shapes are are hexagons and pentagons to make a perfect sphere. This particular ball is made up of basically two different types of panels. You're going to find these pentagon shaped panels in the middle and then around the pentagons you have what I would describe as kind of a dog bone shaped panel. At least that's my best description of it. Call it what you want but basically those two types of panels create what is a perfect sphere in the Yule Sport Elijah and I have to say that the final product actually feels really 
really, really good. Whenever they mess around with the shape of the panel, I'm always concerned about the performance of the ball, mainly in regards to unpredictability, meaning that if you kick the ball straight, it doesn't go straight. It does something a little bit wonky, kind of like what we saw years ago with the Adidas Jabulani. That is kind of a more extreme case. I don't get that sense from this particular ball. It feels very predictable. It feels like if you kick it straight, it's going to go straight, which is personally what I like to see in a match ball. I wanted to do exactly what I meant for the ball to do, and this seems to do that. Now, if you look closely, you can see that all the panels themselves are thermally bonded, which is pretty much the same as 90% of the official match balls that are out there right now. And honestly, I have to say that the quality of the bonding between all the panels is top notch, if not better than what you're gonna find from Nike and Adidas with their official match balls, which is kind of surprising because again, Ulsport is not one of those brands that you associate with premium match balls. Now the panels themselves, as you can see up close, they do have a little bit of extra texturing to them. It's a micro texture made up of these thin little lines that do vary in direction depending on the direction of the panel itself, but it's just enough texturing so you're not left with a completely slick surface when the ball is used in wet weather. Because of the material use which is kind of like a, a dense foam type material that's the best way I would describe it it doesn't have a super hard plasticky shell like some match balls have mainly the Nike ones this is more along the lines of what you'll find from the Adidas match balls in regards to how it feels but the overall construction reminds me a lot of some of the older Nike match balls like the Saitiro the Ascente I just showed you the Tracer as well as the Insight the different variations of that match ball that we had before Nike introduced the Ordem series, which again, is not a bad thing. Also, because this is the official match ball, it does have the FIFA approved stamp, which looks like this. Now, as far as feel and performance is concerned, this is on par with any match ball currently out there. There is no question about that at all. And if I had to compare it to current match balls from Nike and Adidas that I think most people are more familiar with, it's kind of like an in-between of the Adidas Telstar 18 World Cup match ball and the current Nike Merlin or Nike Ordem, whichever one you want to compare it to, in that the feel, I would say, is kind of more along the lines of the Telstar in regards to contact with the ball. The weight, I feel, is very similar. It's got a little bit of a harder feel to it as well. Not necessarily to where it needs to be broken in because the materials aren't really going to change. It's more so just a matter of getting used to the way that the ball feels, but the performance characteristics are definitely along the lines of what you'll find from Nike's current match balls in that it does seem to be a little bit more predictable than what you'll get from the Telstar. So you could argue it's kind of a best of both worlds type situation, not necessarily a case of better or worse versus any match ball. I think it's really difficult to say that this is better than the Merlin, which is better than the Telstar or whatever order you want to put them in. It just performs really well. It kind of has its own unique performance quirks that you really have to feel to truly understand. But as far as overall performance is concerned, it's as good as anything. Which brings us to the conclusion of this review. And I feel like every time I review an expensive top end match ball, this one question always comes up and that is, is it truly worth it? Wouldn't I be better off spending 20 to $30 on a ball rather than 150 plus? And the answer to that question is it really does depend on what you want. My best advice, if you're looking to get quality practice in and you play in a league that always uses the same match ball, if you can have that exact ball for practice, that is kind of an ideal situation. However, if the ball always changes, then it doesn't matter quite as much. I think that for practice and really just the quality of the overall experience, if you can justify the price of a top end match ball, it really makes things that much better. Anybody that has used one of these expensive match balls knows exactly what I'm talking about. And until you get to try one for yourself, it's really difficult to explain what the difference is between something like this and a regular $20 ball that you'll find most other people using. I think it's the world of difference. But as far as this ball specifically is concerned, the quality is great. It's as good as anything. I think the unique factor, especially if you're in North America ordering one of these from Europe, you're really not gonna find anyone else with one of these things. The build quality is there. It's going to last. And again, it's got all the performance characteristics that you'll find from any of the major match balls that Nike and Adidas is currently are putting out. So if you're looking for something unique as far as match balls go, I can highly recommend the Ulsport Sport Elijah, if that's how you say it. Anyways, guys, that is it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in one of these for yourself, you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you will find buy it now links to get this ball 
for the $142 or so retail price. If you have any questions as always, or any suggestions for other products you'd like to see reviewed on the channel, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.